beneath you, like your mother did with my father. I can explain why I said that. Oh, there's no need. I realized that all the things I read about you were true. You're a self-centered, spoiled snob. And a liar. That's why I left your aunt's cottage. No. I never meant for you to hear what I said to my grandfather. Duh. No, you don't understand. I didn't mean it. I just said what I knew grandfather wanted to hear. I don't buy it. It's true. Look, now you're saying what you think I want to hear, all right? Well, save it. Look, yeah. You're not the person I thought you were, Fancy. All right? You're the spoiled rich girl the press makes you out to be. You're always looking for a, a new thrill, something to keep you busy. And when our paths crossed in Vegas, you thought you found it. You were slumming it with me until some rich guy came along. That's not true. You, you know, <laughs> you really had me going, too. You know, that's why I set up, you know, dinner on the beach and, and dancing under the stars. I wanted to do something wonderful for the woman who I thought was the real deal on her last night in Harmony. Tonight was wonderful, Noah. Then why did you lie to Alistair about who I am? I was trying to protect you. Or trying to stay in Alistair's good graces by saying I played golf at the country club. I said you'd spent a lot of time on the course. As a caddy, not as a member. I don't care, but Grandfather would. Enough buts, all right? Look, you said you were trying to protect me, but I think you're only trying to protect yourself. If you don't believe me, fine. But I had to say all the things I said to my grandfather. Why? To protect me and you. If he found out we'd been on a date, he'd be furious that I lied to him when I said I'd never see you again. And he'd be angry at you for having the nerve not to know your place and daring to see me. If grandfather didn't have his people to take care of you, he could let those gangsters from Vegas come for you after all. I can take care of myself. I know, I've seen you in action, but Grandfather always stacks the odds in his favor. You wouldn't stand a chance. Alistair did stick it to my father, and my grandfather, <laughs> and half the people in Harmony, for that matter. Well, he'll eventually get around to the other half. You have to believe me, Noah. That's why I said what I said to Grandfather at Aunt Sheridan's. I was trying to keep him from finding out that we hit it off. Look, you didn't have to bother, all right? People like us, we hook up in the beginning because opposites attract. But in the long run, it never works out. My mother and your father were together. <laughs> yeah, and look what happened to them. What about Aunt Sheridan and Luis? They'd probably still be together if Grandfather hadn't messed with them. I don't totally buy that. Why not? If Sheridan and Luis were meant to be together, they'd be together no matter what Alistair did to them. 